All right, let's move into game number two. Auburn at LSU. LSU currently an 11-point favorite. It's 2.30 p.m. on CBS at Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge. LSU has won and covered three of the last four against Auburn. They're 5-0 and straight up, 4-1 and against the spread, their last five in Baton Rouge. LSU yards per play on offense, number two in the country. I mean, just they are – they can't be stopped nope. right now. Nobody can stop these nope. guys. Auburn defensive yards per play, number 23. Not bad. Not terrible. Uh, they haven't played an offense like this. No, sir. But uh, Auburn offensive yards per play, number 51. That's 6.04 yards per play, which is crazy. It's 6.04 yards per play, you know, four years ago. I mean, that would have been top 15, top 20 in the country. Yep. And they're 51. Uh, LSU defensive yards per play. A lot of people wouldn't realize this. Number 14. Yeah. Number 14 in the country. No, it's still not terrible. Yeah, 4.48. People 4. give them 8. a lot of crap, man. They talk about this defense like it's trash. And they, they're not they trash. Up. They're just not the best defense in the country like they've been in the past. Exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, they, they give up less yards per play than, than Auburn does. We we went from number one in the country on defense and 80th in offense to number two in offense and 14th in defense. I'll take that swap. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I agree. We're top 15 at both. Auburn number 32 in turnover margin, LSU number 19. So both teams pretty good at taking care of the football and getting some uh, some takeaways. Taking it away. I, I think, like, Booby Whitlow is out. Yeah, they look great against Arkansas last week. There, there are still deficiencies on this team. I like LSU a lot this week. Yeah, I do too. I did. Minus 11, I don't think that's near enough points. No. So I, I've got them to cover, of course. In- I think they win. I think they cover. Um, last week is the first week that they didn't score 42 points or more. And uh, I don't know that they're going to do it this week. But I'm really hoping they at least match what they put up last week. So. I think I think they could. I, I mean, I think they probably will. This this offense is so much fun to watch right now. It it most certainly is. And they're all they're saying the right things. You know, yeah. all all people asked about this week in the, in a lot of the press conference I've been watching and, and stuff when they talked to the coaches and the players was, you know, what about Alabama? What about Alabama? Because they're already seeing this clash. And if we we're playing Arkansas, you can ask us about Alabama. But we're playing Auburn. That's a real team. Yeah. You can't just. It's you a tough you can't team. just overlook them, man. You can't just olay them. You get got. And I like that Joe Burrow's like, we we don't overlook this. T- what are you talking about? Like, this is how you get beat. I mean, he openly said that. We'll get our butts whipped if we overlook them. And I appreciate that. Because he's he's been young. He's young. And he's been cocky. And, he, and I like his swagger. But he's smart enough to know. He's, he's business when he needs yeah, to. Yeah. We, we have a job to do. And while I, I want to go out and whip their butt, I fully understand if I think I can just walk down there, show up on Saturday, and us just do it, then that's it how we're going to get our butt whipped. Yeah. It and he knows that. that. And, I, and I have a strong appreciation for that. that. And I'll tell you this, that comes from leadership. That's oh, not yeah. just him. The coaches around him, the people in his life, he's been around this game forever. And, and I think that all has value. No, I, I agree 100%. 100%.